Hey YouTube, Slothy Edits here, and um, basically today just showing you how to make a Steam profile picture. So I'm gonna let me open up my Steam and just kind of give you an idea. Um, it's not gonna look like this one, by the way. Um, this was just one I was just joking around with. I mean, it makes no sense to have cats and guns and diamonds and stuff. It makes no sense. But if you like that kind of style, then you can do it. But in this tutorial, I'm gonna make a little bit more cooler one. Or yeah, so let's get started. So first thing you want to do is let's open up the Photoshop, which I've been using Photoshop CS3. Um, I've played around with Photoshop CC, and I've had a little bit of trouble getting used to it, the change. Um, same with fireworks. I can't get anything done. Um, so let's just, uh, we'll see. So we're going to go to File. We're going to go to New. And let's name this Steam Pit, um, PP <laughs> for profile picture. All right, and then this is going to be 184 by 184. So um, resolution stays at 72, and the background contents shall be transparent. And let's go to OK. And you'll get this little box in the middle of the square. It's giving me the loading symbol. One second. And, um, so first thing we need to do is we need to go to color and we need to change this up. So let's go to this. And, uh, you can click on the little box right here and it'll give you a little paint. Um, this color pickle, color pick, picker, color pickle. Um, so let's choose a color. And today, I believe I'm going to do, uh, like a green. Lime green, and then tap. Um, why is it not working? Okay, CS three. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Really? Uh, Photoshop CC, and this is what you get. Are you kidding me? Alright guys, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to, um, I'm going to go to CS3. So, be right back. Alright, so, um, let me open up Photoshop CS3. Alright, so here's CS3, this is what I have been using, and let me just say it's way better, because I don't have to do all that, it doesn't la load so much. So, um, I'm just going to put the dimensions like I did, um, just, uh, 184 by 184, I apologize for that, I might just cut it out, I'm not sure, I might put it in just to show that CC sucks, um, resolution 72, background contents transparent, let's click OK, and you'll get a little box, see on, yeah, this one looks nice, you actually see what size it's going to be, and you can stretch it out, the other one, it just makes it huge, and you have no clue what's going on, so, um, paint, color, green. See, look at that. Look how quick that was. So then we're going to go, and we're going to put some text on here. Let it load. Definitely not long. Oh, crap. Command Z. Um, Command Z. Z. And we're going to go to text, and we're going to delete layer 2, because I accidentally just put text on there, and it won't let me edit it. All right, so this, and we're going to go to slotty edits for our SE, or you can put whatever you want, really. So then we're going to go to layer 1. And then S E Command T to let it select it so that we can stretch it out and make it a size that we want. Which I'm gonna put it. I'm I'm thinking about put what um. Okay, enter. But then we need to um. I'm gonna change the font. Uh, I got some downloaded fonts, so you may not have what exactly what I have, but um. Oh, Starcraft. Nah. Starcraft's cool, but, uh, the font's not. <laughs> so, I have one called Here Be Dubstep, and, um, there it is. And, um, the watermark you see on your screen, that's the same font. Okay, that made no sense. Where's Here Be Dubstep? Yeah, there, I mean, it's, it, I mean, I'll be honest, there is so many problems with, um, CS3 that they fixed on CC, but for some reason, it's just on my computer, I believe, 
it takes forever to load anything so I I mean I get stuff done quicker and easier with CS3 so then we're gonna double click C C E I mean S E or the layer that has your text and we're gonna go down to stroke and we're gonna take cl color and I'm doing black you can do whatever color you want it's the what it is is the outline of your text see like if I do here it changes and then we're gonna go to this and I'm gonna put it down to like two um, the size opacity needs, needs to be all the way up if you take that down it makes it disappear Okay, so bevel and emboss, I'm going to click on it, it's going to check it for you. Depth, put it up to like 181, and then size, just move move it to 128, or around 128, and then 16, just soften that all the way up. Then go down to color overlay, and that's the main color of your text. And I believe I'm going to put something strange, which I don't know what's going to be yet. Let's do green and yellow. Alright, so let's... And then we're going to go to drop shadow, and I just thought of this in the last second. We're going to do that, and then we're going to go to size. And we're going to put it like that. We're just going to move that up, and then spread. Put it like that. And then distance, you know, you can, you know, you can play around with that if you want. Move it down a little bit. Alright, now click OK. You're done with that. Now we're going to click on layer 1, that's what your background is. We're going to go to filter, render, lighting effects. We're going to take this, and you can play around with the light um, if you want, but I'm taking it and putting it like vertical, like that. And then we need to go to file, and now on place, uh, you can go on the internet and look up like anything you want, and then type in clip art right next to it, and it should give you like certain like... Um, Uh, like smoke clip art or sm like smoke with transparent background and it doesn't look transparent now but it will in a second and then when you have it you'll put it on there and you'll go to this bar right here and it says normal and go down to linear da dodge add and it'll put it like that and then um, I'm gonna click enter and then I'm gonna double click it because I really don't want it to look like that much so I'm just gonna take the opacity down a bit click OK and then I have some other stuff to place. Um, I'm going to pause the video, and then when I have placed all my things, then I'm going to uh, resume it. Um, so, uh, basically, here you go. I was sorry, I was reading that message that came up there. I was talking about a YouTube video. All right, so, basically, you have the picture. I'm going to make it pretty simple. You know, you got your Facebook, you got your Twitter. Slothy Edits is now on Facebook and Twitter. Look it up. And, um, it's spelled the same way you spell my YouTube and um, so basically we need to save this and we need to put it on Steam so we're gonna go to file go down and save as um, you're gonna name it but right here where it says format you need to click on that and you need to go to JPEG yeah and then you're gonna go to save and it's gonna ask you all this you know blah blah blah, blah, blah. you can just just click OK now you know X is gonna ask you to save click don't save you just saved it and I'm gonna go down here go to Photoshop, I'm going to right click and hide so that I'm just look at it. And now I need to go to my Steam, which is right here. Profile, edit profile, right here. Um, profile picture, oh, right here. Then you're going to click the white box and it's going to open up your menu. And um, now you just got to find crap. Oh wait, I think I accidentally saved it to my screenshots. One second. There it is, yeah. Click open, and then you're going to click the upload. And then there you go. So it has different sizes, and there you go. So then we're going to go to um, save changes. Now we're going to go to Sloth Edits, profile. And then there you go, you got your profile picture. Alright guys, well, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Um, also, I'm just going to show you real quick. Um, I'm on YouTube. I, know I just posted that video like uh, like last night. Um, I don't have very many subscribers right now. I only have 13 and then that many views. I posted a skate video. That was my first Lothi Edit skate video. Um, I've, I've made a, many more. I'm talking about first one on this channel. Um, 
so you can go check that out. Uh, also, on Facebook, you can like us. We have 23 likes so far, and there's 14 people talking about it. It says right here. And so, yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, um, comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time. See you.